Hello, hello. I've got another demo video for my seven-day roguelike, a mysterious space. It's a it's a space shooter. Uh, let's let's jump right into it. Um, go ahead and play this first level. So now, when you pause with the start button on your controller or escape, uh, you get this wonderful pause slash inventory menu where you can use items. Uh, and I've hacked the the game right now is set up to cheat and give me a, one of each alien artifact. We'll talk about it later. Uh, save and quit. And I'm going back and forth on whether or not you should be able to save, so I don't know if that message is is going to be accurate in the end. And then settings, I don't have any yet, uh, but I've been listening to a bunch of chiptune music on uh, Free Music Archive. I think that's what it's called, .org. Anyway, it's a bunch of music under Creative Commons licenses, and I've found some good stuff I'm going to put in here. So I'm going to need volume for music, volume for sound effects. I've got some laser sound effects ready, uh, but none in-game at this time. Anyway, so settings for that kind of thing will go here. Uh, but let's talk about the inventory. So, um, whoops. Uh, I, I think I've mentioned it in previous videos, but I'll go over it again real quick. Uh, the the alien artifacts are going to be like potions in classic rogue and, and, and many of the you know clones since uh, and roguelikes, where you you don't know what in uh, what a what a potion does uh, until you use it the first time. Um, so again, I've I've hacked the game right now to start me with this knowledge, uh, but it does work. You know, you start off with no knowledge of items, and you have to discover what does a white alien artifact do this time, what does a gray alien artifact do this time, etc. And and we have all these wonderful alien artifacts, and they do different things every time. So uh, some of the things are pretty straightforward, like doubles the firing rate of your first weapon. Uh, you can have up to three weapons equipped. I didn't want to like double the firing rate of all of them. That seemed super powerful, uh, and I don't know if this. You know, the fact that this potion or alien artifact, whatever you want to call it, exists will probably, you know, make people think about what they equipped first if you're an experienced player, you know? <laughs> Assuming anyone played enough that they really started to get into the tactics, that, that could be a possible thing. Uh, so this eliminates your shields for, for five seconds, and that works. If you uh, check out my shield bar here, I can go ahead and use it. There, there goes my, uh, my shield. Uh, engine power doubled. This is kind of a mixed blessing. I don't know if this is going to be bad or good. Uh, moving twice as fast could be quite dangerous, but maybe useful. Um, it's also not implemented right now, so I will not show you. That's not implemented right now. Doubling shield regeneration. Doubling shield strength. Not implemented. Man, okay, where are the ones that are? Okay, fully repairs heal hole. That is implemented. My hole is not damaged, so I won't do anything. Uh, gaining no points for 10 seconds. Uh, so in my last video, I... I talked about how you know every bullet that enemy bullet that goes off, off the screen gives you a couple points when you kill enemies you get points but that prevents you from getting any points that's going to be a minor thing i mean if you know again if, if people actually got competitive about this and you know for a seven day rogue, roguelike I'm, I'm not expecting people will but, but let's pretend uh then getting a high score might be an important thing and and that would be therefore a, an inconvenient potion um Fully repairs armor also works, but I have no armor right now. Sensors flicker off and on. So this is one of my favorites. I'll go ahead and, and demonstrate this now. Um, whoops, did I use it? Yeah, I did. All right, so yeah, it does this work. I don't know if you can see it, but basically I'm making it so it doesn't redraw the level, only your position. So you get a weird, horrible trailing effect, and everything on the level does that horrible effect. Um, you can see that when I kill enemies, they, they now drop loot. So, hey, let's actually play the game. <laughs> Um, and the loot, let's go ahead and check out what I got. Uh, you cannot currently equip things. You won't be able to equip things during a level anyway, only on the main screen. Um, but here's a new weapon. It's a split blaster, and they're randomly generated with bonuses according to the, you know, the level number you are. So the further in you are, the better the equipment you're going to get. Uh, so this is just a super common split blaster. Uh, they have random colors. I, I didn't color the names here. I made kind of a silly mistake. So most of the UI, I was making black and coloring the items, like you can see the orange blaster here, uh, coloring their name, their color. And so I picked a lot of bright colors. And now I made this screen white. And so I can't really show, you know, yellow alien artifact in yellow or white alien artifact in white. It's not going to show up. So uh, that was a mistake on my part. I don't know if I'll go back over and maybe change the UI to be white up here. I really like the bright look, so I don't think I'm going to change this black. I don't know. I might not worry about it within the seven days, but anyway. Um, so yeah, this is a red weapon. Uh, it colors them using cleverness. Uh, and again, you you cannot equip these right here. Um, and in fact, I don't have equipping items implemented at all. 
uh, but it'll all be through that same menu so I'm you know I'm pretty close let's see if I can get any more items well let's demonstrate some other um, oh, I picked up a shield it's probably from running into a, a dude I'm gonna need sound effects for when you pick up things too uh, so five second vulnerability that works it will make your what you can see my little shield there flashes white you can just go and murder things and not take damage uh, there isn't though I feel like I need some sort of countdown or Again, a sound effect to let you know that your invuln invulnerability is about to run out. That would be very useful. Right now, such a thing does not exist. Oops, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Fully repairs armor, yep, fully restore shields. Let's see if that works. Yeah, my shields are damaged. Bam. Um, so, that's it. Um, again, not everything is implemented. We saw like these first four or something, I think, were the unimplemented ones. We hit them all, all in a row. Um, but most of them are, and it's not going to be hard to implement these other ones. Uh, and they they operate in kind of interesting ways like the the double fire rate effect is applied to the weapon itself and the weapon itself keeps track of it so it's conceivable that I could make items that respond to having their fire rate doubled like I don't know you could have a weapon that says when its fire rate is doubled its damage is also doubled or something like that. that's just a crazy bonus it gets um, or you could make shields that say like there's some sort of vitamin here the the potion I showed you that reduces your shields to zero there could be a shield that says my shields can't be reduced by that effect um, because again it's an it's a, a method that's called on the shields so so that's kind of cool I mean it's all handled through uh, the, the object orientedness is, is kind of crazy uh, I've gone nuts with it um, but it lets me do that kind of stuff if, if I wanted so I think that could be really interesting um, some effects hit the player object, uh, like invulnerabilities into function of the shields, uh, and um, the sensor messed upness isn't isn't a function of any anything on your ship. So, so so anyway, I, I might do some interesting things. We'll see. I, I would really like to get some cool equipment. You know, I, I feel like one of the best things about roguelikes is the weird interactions that you can get, where you know maybe an item that you thought wasn't useful with this other item turns out to be useful. So I mean, maybe you could have an item that says when your shields would be reduced to zero, instead you become invulnerable or something. Like, it could trigger that. I mean, I, you know, I could make weird things like that to items that make otherwise useless potions useful or otherwise useful potions useless. We can go both ways. Uh, interesting trade-offs there. Um, so I'll definitely try and, and do that. Um, th th those interactions are maybe a little forced. They're not maybe as, as organic as a lot of roguelike interactions are, but yeah, yeah, I'll see what I can come up with in, in the next few days. Uh, the game is coming along really well. I'm I'm really happy. I mean, it took me all day to get this UI done, uh, and and the item drops and everything. But on the other hand, I did that in a day, uh, so so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, but 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 you don't need to hear me say that. I guess that that's not pertinent to the development. Anyway, uh, I am done uh, with this little demonstration. Then uh, thank you again for watching, and I will hopefully have another update video in a, in another day or so.